Hello guys and welcome to the channel. In this video I'm gonna show you how to create a bootable USB drive with an operating system. This will allow you to fix your old computer or laptop that had a hard drive failure or you can just take this with you anywhere you go and have an operating system in your pocket. It will be based on the Linux Mint operating system which means it's free. If you like this video, please click the like button, subscribe to the channel for more interesting videos. Thank you very much and let's go! Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do, we need to download Linux Mint and all we have to do is just go to the web browser and search for Linux. You can download it for absolutely free, you don't have to spend a penny on it and this is such a cool thing about it. Unlike Windows, there is no hidden things, you know, there is, you don't have to purchase it. Linux is a open source operating system so basically anybody can get it and then he can uh, modify it to however he likes it and this is absolutely amazing so we can go here click download and then it takes you to this page so the current version of Linux Mint is 20 this is a brand new one and there's also a few additions you can choose from I would choose cinnamon I like cinnamon so let's just try that and then it gives you so it's 1.8 gigabyte and it gives you different sources you can download it from let's just go Canada here and see how quick it's gonna download after it's gonna be downloaded we're gonna have to get another program to burn it on the USB stick and I'll show you that in the next step. So we got it all downloaded and the good thing about Linux, that's another good thing about it, is that the support for Linux products is really good and the community of Linux uh, people, who users who like to use Linux instead of Windows is really loyal and they have a lot of uh, support for each other. So and in this case what we gotta do is just we need to download it for on the USB and create a bootable uh, drive so you just go to documentations and you can choose there's look how many languages there is like this whole bunch of different languages you can just think of and let's just go English and here it says live boot just gotta click on that and where it, it basically gives you all the steps how to create a bootable drive but we're just gonna go if you want to just watch this video all the way to the end we're just gonna go it and go through it okay step number two you need to download a program that will create a bootable media and in windows environment you gotta download this etcher so you just gotta click on it it's gonna take you to the web page you click download and it's super simple easy and free Once it's downloaded, then you gotta click on it, get it installed. You gotta choose agree. Okay, so the next thing, we're just gonna start this program. Then you gotta choose the file that we just downloaded it. Saved it on the desktop. There it is, Linux Mint 20. Then you gotta select where you wanna burn it. And I have this USB flash drive. So I wanna do on this one and just select. And then you just gotta click flash. And it warns you because it thinks that this USB stick is quite large and it might have some important files on it. But I don't have any smaller USB sticks at the moment. So I'll just use it on this one and it will just delete everything else on the USB drive. Let's click continue. Okay, and then we just gotta keep waiting till it's gonna be finished. And what I can say about Linux is it has way less viruses made for them, so it's much more safer than Windows. Then uh, it never crashes, like it never has that problem where the computer starts to like not responding or it starts to crash or every time you use Windows every day it gets slower and slower and slower and eventually you're gonna have to 
reinstall the Windows and get it get a new version of Windows or something. I will show you how to get your Windows image made up and then you can just reinstall your Windows completely in like less than five minutes. But Linux, you don't have to do that. Like Linux is really nice for that. It never crashes, it never slows down. And I don't know why Windows can just do the same thing. So, but anyway, this is really good option for those who don't like Windows or who just wanna have an alternative. And another thing is you can use it anywhere you go. You can just plug it into any computer that doesn't even have operating system and just run your own operating system. So that's a really awesome thing, I believe. And it works real fine, like it works real quick. Okay, so we got all done. It's complete, close it. Now we can close this as well. We're just gonna restart the computer and the USB stick is gonna start automatically. All right, let's do this. Okay, so there we go guys. This is your Linux Mint and it's absolutely running from your USB stick so you can use it on any computer even the one that doesn't have a hard drive Possibly because you don't need to have anything. You just run straight from the USB stick uh, It looks very simple like you have minimum stuff, but it's yet yet. It has a lot of software There's lots of open source software that is free So you can just go in here and you can see there's lots of accessories calculator discs files image viewers Whole bunch of different stuff there's graphics you can do drawing there's internet you can install Skype you can use uh, web browsers there is a uh, equivalent of Microsoft Word which is LibreOffice which is also good you know there's uh, but it's free as well so you don't have to pay for it then there is uh, some programs for sound and video and this whole bunch, I'm gonna do more videos about Linux and other stuff, but this is it for now. And another thing, if you wanna get your Linux installed permanently on your computer, you can click this link here, and then it's gonna guide you through the installation process, and this way you're gonna have two operating systems on one computer, and you can switch between Linux and Windows. If you like Linux better, you can stick with it. If you wanna go back to Windows for a little bit, you can do that as well. So. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you do like it, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click that notification bell as well so you don't miss other videos. And thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video. Bye now.